Hey folks, Engineer775 here. This is a, a video that I'm going to call my New Year's resolution, at least for my channel. And what I'm trying to do this year is produce electricity in a different way. There's been a lot of um, videos done with generators and uh, solar and all sorts of, of cool, cool things out there. But looking at the overall picture of making power for the prepper or anybody else that wants to be sustainable, um, there's a lot of pros and cons with it, with each system. So after looking at everything, um, I'm, I've gone through gasification, I've gone through solar, wind, hydro, and I'm trying something new this year. So my goal this year is to basically, if you can start a fire, then you can power your home. Wouldn't that be cool? If you can light a match, then you can produce enough electricity to power your home. I know that sounds really good. And what I'm going to show you is what I have in front of me. It is, um, it is an organic Rankin cycle. It's a low temperature uh, steam engine. And I'm going to kind of walk around and show you the individual components. And this is a prototype. And a good friend of mine had started a, uh, a project that... Um, was going to make heating and cooling and what I've done with the, the parts he uh, graciously let me um, tinker in my shop um, and he lent me the lent me these parts <laughs> and so I took it apart and I put it back together in a way instead of making heating and cooling which is his expertise I want to make electricity and then you can have all the heating and cooling you want and so let me show you Okay, I'm going to put some schematics in the beginning and at the end of the video that you can refer to because this might not make sense the way it's uh, plumbed to you. I'm going to go kind of quickly through it. Um, in an organic Rankine cycle, you have a working fluid, which is a um, basically an organic um, hydrocarbon. I'm going to be using a P245FA right here, P2, the 245FA and possibly mixing that with some 134 which is like what's in your car for your uh, cooling system. Uh, simple components, there's really not a lot to a Rankine cycle. You have a feed pump which is here, you have a heat exchanger which is there, then you have some sort of turbine or expander or scroll and that is there and I got that out of a local junkyard out of a Mitsubishi Galant. So that's the prototype scroll compressor that we're going to use to uh, expand um, the, the gas, um, turning it into power, hopefully. And then you have the uh, condenser heat exchanger where we will pump, um, I've got my elevated water tanks and we'll bring cold water through these with a circulating pump. So there, it does require some power, but not a lot to make power. You're gonna have to control this pump and you're gonna have some other pumps. It's basically a system of pumps everything is silent and uh, that's that's kind of the goal to to make power quietly that'd be awesome and so the the refrigerant will travel from the pump it's got a check valve in it through the heat exchanger it will boil off because it boils at a low temperature and then it will travel through the to the expander which in this case is a scroll the hot gases will then come out of that scroll and again that scroll is running backwards from the way it would run in a vehicle Everything about this thing is run backwards. And sometimes it's good to look at stuff upside down and backwards. You can figure a lot out. Then it comes, the hot gas hits the condenser, cools down, and is caught in a recirculating tank, basically an accumulator. And then that refrigerant is brought through, and that's a little uh, filter dryer. It hits the feed pump, and the loop continues. So it's a continuous 24-7 power maker. So that's, um, it's a waste heat engine. Um, this is done a lot and in, on an industrial scale, but my goal would be to uh, see if I can do it on a, on a local scale or for a home or a couple homes or a community or a business. And so the goal would be to scale this baby down, make power, and you, couldn't, you can use a gasifier to produce the hot water to boil off the refrigerant or a wood stove or even solar and so there's been a lot of work done there already and so hopefully once the system is sealed uh, we will fire it up and uh, make some power at least um, you know that I know that that scroll is not going to cut it but 
it'll at least make some power. I actually ran an air compressor through the back end of the scroll um, and hooked it to a Volkswagen generator and made power. So, and I've got, just got these fit, fittings welded on and modified. This is all, this all came out of the, the Mitsubishi. But there's a check valve in the, behind these and I removed that so when I blow air through here this will actually this will actually spin and you just hook 12 volts to this and you can turn the clutch on and off really simply and so my plan is just to take and belt drive the generator that's going to sit over on those two rails and just make some power as a proof of concept so wouldn't it be cool light a match light a fire make enough power to run a home or or at least zero out your power bill and again something that can run rain or shine 24 7 and it might be a great addition to your solar or your already your, your current backup power system so okay got a lot of work to do and uh, but again I wanted to kind of kick the year off with a, a challenge to myself to see if I could get this baby up and running and making power and then then it'll be interfacing it with a battery bank uh, charge controller all that fun stuff and then tying it in with a house so hopefully that makes sense but this is uh, the holy grail of prepping now I'm just kidding uh, some people don't like the technology sorry I do I think that this would if you could make your own power by starting a fire you would be uh, way better off and can spend your time doing other things okay appreciate and any comments any feedback you might have if you got any experience especially in the area of expanders and I've looked at a lot of them. There's Infinity Turbine, there's um, Air Squared, there's a lot of other companies out there. Um, anyway, and if you have one that you aren't using and you want to donate it to the Engineer 775 Fund, that would be cool too, because they can be quite pricey. All right, that's enough. I hope that made sense. Oh, one more thing, because this is cool. Um, I do have one more heat exchanger um, here. It's a monster, and I'm going to put it in parallel with this one. There's one way I've been reading my thermodynamics book. Um, and uh, <laughs> um, when you have trouble sleeping, you read your thermodynamics book. And I'm going to mount that other heat exchanger here. So picture the hot gases from my scroll when they exit the expander going through that. And anyway, I'm going to leave that. What that's going to do basically is increase the efficiency of the overall system. And I'm going to use it as a preheater, but that's enough for now, um, probably too much for now. And I will talk to you later. So, Engineer 775, signing off.